For those who aren't familiar with it, what does it mean to be part of Artemis? What is the Artemis generation of astronauts? Yeah, being at NASA right now is really special. It's super exciting because we're still doing the things that we do really well, living and operating on the space station. We're starting to fly new vehicles to the space station um, with SpaceX and hopefully soon Boeing as well. I'm scheduled to fly to the space station on a SpaceX Dragon in oct late October and be a part of that mission. But we're also really... Uh, like at the dawn of this new era, we're ready as an organization at NASA to kind of focus less on operations in low Earth orbit, like the space station, and start exploring again. And the Artemis program is our return to the moon, not just with probes or orbiters or robotic landers, but to put human boots back on the moon. Um, and it's really exciting because we learned a lot in Apollo, but we visited this tiny little like soda straw version of visiting the moon and trying to understand the science and geology that we can learn from being there. And we really want to use the moon as a proving ground to eventually do planetary exploration, go on to Mars. And so there's a lot of interesting technology we need to not only develop and test, but improve in order to do that safely. So not only are we going back to the moon, but we're going to have a sustainable human presence there. We're going to build habitats. We're going to generate power. We're going to get resources from the moon. And we're also going to do some awesome science, some really, really cool geology. Um, and the moon can teach us a lot, not only about itself, but about our own planet and the formation of our solar system. And so it's really cool to watch this technology being developed, whether it's the spacesuits being built to return to the moon or the capsule or the rocket. Everybody is just buzzing and excited about pushing the boundaries of what we've done before. And it's a really cool time to be starting out at NASA. And I think our class is really lucky because we're going to get a chance to learn from the experience NASA has developed on the space station. We're going to get a chance to go live and work on the space station, learn from that opportunity, but then apply that in a new and more challenging context further from Earth, new technologies, new challenges. So it really feels like the beginning of a long journey, I think, for our class of kind of learning from the existing experience and perspective, but also pushing beyond that to do something new. Hi, I'm John Miles, the host of the Passion Struck podcast, and we have new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. And during this entire month of September, we are honoring veterans who served during the 20 year war on terror. If you haven't checked these episodes out, they include Black Hall Racing Team of Janet and Tony Black Hall, who race and Moto America, NASCAR Xfinity driver Jesse Uigi, astronaut Captain Wendy Lawrence, who served on multiple space shuttle missions and was the first female Naval Academy graduate to fly in outer space, Navy SEAL Commander Dan O'Shea, who discusses his involvement in Afghanistan, Iraq, and more recently in Operation Pineapple Express, retired Navy SEAL Commander Mark Devine, retired Army Colonel and Navy SEAL Dr. Bob Adams and retired Navy SEAL William Bram. Some incredible episodes throughout the month of September. And you can always check us out on Instagram at Passion Struck Podcast or our YouTube channel at John R. Miles. Remember, make a choice, work hard, and step into your sharp edges.